So today, I think it's July 17th, I made um, Bami subs, sort of um, like the recipe from Everyday Vegetarian by the editors of Cooking Light. Only I didn't use carrots this time, I used the fettuccine cut beets. And I didn't use eggplant, I used um, shiitake mushrooms that I sauteed in um, teriyaki sauce. And I put um, some other things on there, like the red onions and the burgundy bell peppers in them. Um, avocado and mixed greens as well as the celery. So um, there's a lot of cancer fighters in this Bami sub. And um, I made maple walnut ice cream and mine didn't turn out as good as the uh, um, one in Rawlicious, I'm sure. Um, I didn't use, um, what do you call it? Cashews. I just use, I soaked walnuts instead, and um, it tastes amazing. But uh, it was the first time I was using this um, ice cream maker. It was I didn't know I could ever make anything like ice cream again. But this is um, I, I forgot to put in half of the ice that I was supposed to anyway. So it didn't work super great, but it's pretty good and it tastes good and he's going to love it because maple walnut ice cream was his favorite and since he's lactose intolerant now, um, we, we don't get maple walnut ice cream. But this one's made with coconut milk and um, I tried a spoonful, but I don't, I don't like to eat a whole lot of coconut milk anymore because I worry about the saturated fat content and I know it's supposed to be a different uh, react in our bodies differently than other saturated fats but um, I don't think I'm in a position where I can really take any chances with that so um, James has a bowl of this and I do not I just have Bami and Angel just has a treat from that um, modern juicing the ultimate book of modern juicing whatever by Mimi Kirk, I think it was. Um, and she's not really hungry, it looks like. But they do like those treats. So it's a good recipe that that woman came up with. And you don't have to heat up your house when you make that. 